Hello, Long Riders, and welcome to Wednesday's video. And now, I wanted to tell you something. I'm sorry I didn't put, tell you this earlier, but it, it, the new posting schedule is Wednesdays and Fridays. So, today's fly is very deadly. You must have it. We're doing spinner, and uh, spinners are starting to fall with the Hendrix spinners, and Soon the Slate Drake spinners will be falling and you're going to need these in your box. Let's go to the vise and get these tied right now. We start with a size 14 regular standard dry fly hook. And 70 denier black thread. Now we're going to use the sparky, Sparkle Organza. We use a tan. You could use white. I prefer the tan. You can see how this stuff flakes off in like little strands of it you want about three strands and I double it and triple it because you really don't need it that long for the tail here and uh, that's what I do now you gotta tie this in for the tail and for length I usually go double the length of the shank of the hook They put a couple wraps underneath the tail to make it stick up a little bit. Now we're going to use this floating yarn for a wing. And uh, this might change, just to try and find out what they use for Adam Post or a yard, floating yarn at your flight tying shop. Now I like to use this technique, you double the yarn in half and loop your line through it. And then when you put it down on top of the hook, you kind of make sure it's like lined up and then just Figure eight it right away and you're golden. When trying to put this wing on, I try and be very careful not to wrap a bunch of the the fine floating yarn around the thread so it gets all tangled in the thread so Now we have some really dark gray, flashy dubbing, it's a sparkly dubbing. Um, you can use black or the rust, traditional rusty, or um, use, I try and stay with darker colors because the spinner is tied, 
tend to be darker colors, but I try them in different sizes and different colors. Now you can wrap this dubbing right up to the wing. Now you can put one or two wraps of the dubbing in front of the wing. That's totally up to you. It's definitely not needed. I mean, you don't need to do that, but you can. That's totally up to you. Now you can put a whip finish on, but don't go anywhere. We're not done yet. Now we're going to trim the wing. I usually just one and a half to two lengths of the shank of the hook. Oh, hope you like that fly. Tie this up in different colors, different hook sizes. They're deadly. The Hendrickson spinners are already falling. Um, get them sized uh, 18s, 20s, all different sizes and colors. Now, here's a video that I picked out for you. And above this video, some more videos like this one. Keep your lines wet, out of trees, and only give them fish. That's where we live.